What's up, guys? So we're uh, looking into uh, Sean's case. Uh, it's it's got a lot of weird stuff onto it. Um, I'm gonna go real slow and show you this this so you can read it yourself if you want. Pause and read it because my uh, reading sucks. I will read it to you guys, but I'm not the best reader in the world. So I'm just gonna let you if you want to pause and read you read yourself. You can. All right, there you go. If you want to read to yourself, that is it. Um, like I said, I'm not the best reader, so here we go. On April 14, 2022, Sean got off the bus at 3.02 p.m. and walked the distance of two houses to the front door. Vija, Vija, the grandmother, was home watching the, the youngest brother, but was in a rush as soon as Sean entered the house. She told him to watch the toddler, who was asleep on the couch, and she exited exit it. Ramon had just pulled up to the house to pick up Vija up for a medical appointment and called out to Sean as he entered the house and said she would call him from the car. He was to watch his brother for an hour while she took Vija to the doctor. Sean happily agreed. He loved watching the toddler. He said he had homework to do and would complete his chores before gaming with his friends he submitted his homework assignments online, one of which included him submitting a photo of himself holding up his work at 3.09 p.m. There was nothing out of place. From the car, Ramon called him a second time. She had just talked to her husband, who said their two-year-old had been napping for almost two hours and needed to be woken up, or he'd never sleep that night. Ramon called Sean to revise the plan and ask him to wake his brother up, give him, him, give him a snack, and maybe watch a movie with him downstairs. Sean laughed and said, Mom, I'm pooping. I got it. Hey, they had a chuckle. His bathroom was on the second floor. Uh, Ramon called a third and final time from the car at 327. You gotta realize these people were only they were only gone an hour. They've already wasted twenty seven minutes on three calls. Sean answered right away. She said that she realized he had been excited to play his games and suggested that Sean bring his brother with him to the second floor so that he wouldn't have to change his plans. Sean loved the idea and said that he would get his brother all set up on an iPad upstairs with him. Perfect. She told him where the iPad was charging on the second floor so he could grab it and get everything set up. But first, before he woke his brother, he needed to needed a snack. He took some uh, jarred peaches out of the fridge, one of his favorite after school snacks, and put put one into a bowl. Uh, Sean's chores were was to take the trash out and would leave at 3.30 p.m. His alarm went off as he was preparing his snack, and he went upstairs quickly to complete his chore. He gathered the trash for, for the two upstairs bathrooms and came down to gather the trash in the kitchen. This is where things get weird. The kitchen trash was never taken out. His chores were his crocs. His crocs were found next to the trash in the kitchen. No one in the house was ever barefooted, and in fact, Sean had a strange thing about being barefooted. He never walked around like that. He couldn't stand it. What happened as he was gathering the trash? Sean's two-year-old brother recalls only that there was a friend chasing Sean around and punching him. Sean's two-year-old brother recalled only that there was a friend chasing Sean around and punching him. He also said the man touched his arm. Was someone in the house and who? The man. So it wasn't a friend, it was a man. Uh, this is the first time I heard this part of the story. Was someone in the house? Uh, Ramon's last call before she entered the apartment, the appointment, was the last time she or anyone spoke to Sean. 
He never logged in to play Fortnite with his friends. He never took the iPad off the charger for his brother. His Crocs were found outside, uh, upside down next to the trash, and the trash was never taken out. On the, the counter sat an untouched jarred peach. So, yeah, that, I didn't, that part right there, the little brother actually seen something. I didn't realize. They kind of been making it seem like the little brother didn't see anything, that she was, the little brother was sleeping the whole time and didn't actually see anything. But apparently the little brother did see something. All right. Going on to the next part, guys. What do you guys think about this?